At OnRamp, we have a saying, talent is abundant if you know where to look for it and you know how to hire for it. And we know how difficult it is to hire diverse technical talent if you're only looking in traditional talent pools. And that's why we started OnRamp. We were thinking creatively about different talent pools that we could tap that we hadn't before. We also are very active in our community where we're located and we knew there was a lot of local talent. I am the only person that I know in software development. Most people go into it, you know, from high school or even earlier than that. I went into my first program actually through a club, and so they had a summer boot camp. If you're hiring people that are already in the software engineering field, that's people that are less diverse than the general population. So it's hard to break out of that mold unless you look for talent in new places. What got me into software engineering was I was at the age of 27 working retail sales. I had worked a dozen different jobs in the past 10 years. I was a waiter and bartender for a long time. I worked at a car wash, at a bank. Uh, eventually, I went into the military at the age of 22. When I was in college, I was majoring in psychology. I kind of bought into the hype that I wasn't very good at math, and so uh, computer science seemed a little closed off to me. There are a lot of really fantastic candidates out there looking for new opportunities who don't have the resume that companies are looking for and so they get filtered out of hiring processes. But they do absolutely have the skills necessary to do the role and so this really requires companies to hire in a new way to be able to give those candidates a shot. What led me to OnRamp, I had just graduated from Udacity. I started looking online for jobs. I was tired of having that fear of not thinking I was good enough, and I saw the post. I said, okay, this could be a good opportunity. On Ramp's application process was pretty cool. It was pretty streamlined. There were some, some tests involved, like coding tests, some written answers. It wasn't too intimidating. I thought it was very thorough, which I took that as that they care about the applicants and finding the right fit. I was actually part of a, a group on LinkedIn of junior software engineers that were trying to break into the tech field. I was extremely excited when I saw this position. We source talent from over a hundred different partners and these candidates are career changers so they've taken the initiative to either learn on their own or in a more structured program and our goal is to just to give them that last mile training and the skills that a company is looking for. One of my favorite parts about the on-ramp training process was that they had us do teamwork oriented projects, got us familiar with some of the programs and software that Pandora uses on a day-to-day -day basis which I thought was really really helpful. The typical bootcamp graduate, for example, might have a full stack web background, uh, but we found that it was key to partner with someone that could help us bridge the gap from a foundation level to the skills needed in a particular technology area in our team. I started using the on-ramp uh, course materials to start preparing uh, my, my knowledge for Java. And at the end of this month was an on-site interview uh, with Pandora. When we thought about how to assess potential, it forced us into thinking about a rubric that was a very objective way of measuring different traits. I think we've gotten a dual benefit out of doing our selection that way, both in identifying people with uh, talent as well as removing some of the bias that is hard to eliminate when it's a subjective process. I didn't know if I had a shot at actually getting a job. It was hard to not let those outside criticisms get to me. And for a while I thought maybe I, this was just going to be a hobby. Like I was just going to learn coding because you know it was fun, I found it interesting. I didn't know it could turn out to be a real thing because I didn't have a degree. I was really excited but really nervous at the same time. I was like studying everything I could find. I was probably learning anywhere from 20 to 40 hours a week, but in less than a month, I was able to show the real uh, topography of the language, what, what it's good for and what, what it's not good for. Knowing that I can learn a language like that um, made me feel a lot more confident in my abilities. People that come with degrees bring um, a perspective that's valuable. People that don't have degrees that have maybe had to um, find their own way, um, make their own path, um, learn to get through obstacles, uh, be tenacious, 
and be resourceful. Um, they inspire their teams with the attitude that they bring. When I found out the wonderful news, I was just on my laptop and I saw my phone light up. So I opened the email and it said, do you want to work at Pandora? And I screamed and I cried and I was overjoyed. I said, this is my chance. I was so happy. I told my parents, my good friends, anybody that I could get in touch with that night. It was kind of emotional for me. Um, it was such a big life moment, like a life transitioning moment. It was the culmination of all my hard work over the past few years, learning on my own, lots of ups and downs, and it all paid off that day that they made the offer. Yeah, I called my sister right away, and I, we, you know, she was screaming on the phone, she was excited. Um, it was a big day, it was awesome. When I got the call, I was told that I got the position, and I, I can't remember the last time I was ever so happy because I worked for more than a year trying to get into a software engineering position and this was the first really positive result that I got and it was a slam dunk decision for me like I'm totally going to do this. The candidate pool has been amazing. The productivity that they show very quickly has been beyond what we expected. I started off as um, an apprentice software engineer as a contractor and I was able to get promoted not only to software engineer one but software engineer two in the course of a year. Now I'm building really cool things and getting paid for it and it's honestly, it's a dream come true. I code to learn. I know we get paid and that's a perk. I'm not saying it isn't but for me coding is an opportunity for me to get to the next level. As we're embarking on our third cohort, really lucky to work with OnRamp because of their expertise and the flexibility to provide training, coaching for the candidates as they go through the process. I couldn't recommend um, OnRamp any more highly.